This your boy Big Creek. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You not rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. Of DJ C Chaos. <laughs> On IndioRadio.com. Chaos been busy on me. She funny acting. Chaos been busy on me. She funny acting in a motherfucker. I'm you though. Booked and busy. Hey, I'm trying to get like Pat. You know what I'm saying? Pretty and Paige, you dig? I'm trying to get like you. Nah, let them know where you're from, though. With what your little is, country I'm ass. Chanel. I'm from Milledgeville, Georgia. That's the middle part of Georgia for the people that don't know. <laughs> where the fuck is that? Where the fuck is that? Milledgeville. Milledgeville. Where's that around? How big it's is that city? around Macon, Georgia. How big is that city? Millersville's not that big. Like, our population is like 13,000. So, that's kind of small. Millish but we have Parkerville. Georgia State. Not Georgia State. Dorn. Georgia College. You got Georgia College? We got Georgia College in Millersville. I didn't know that. I thought y'all... So I thought kind of uppity. I thought y'all... <laughs> I thought the closest <laughs> thing y'all had was um, Fort Valley. My uh, business partner is Fort Valley alumni. Uh -huh. So, I thought that was probably the closest thing. That and uh, Gordon. That's the only thing Gordon. I know How about you, out Okay, there. you know what Gordon is. You just know what Millersville is. Gordon is like, they you don't gotta, have a McDonald's. You got a, they, they, no, they got a Pizza Hut. That's last time I went, they had a they Pizza Hut. No yeah. <laughs> like, they had a Pizza Hut last time I went there. Um, nah, I don't think I've ever been to Millersville. We, um, I think the one time I was supposed to go with you, something happened. And, yeah, with the you know, venue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but, um, motherfucking Pap Chanel, talk, it's gonna talk to me. going to happen soon. Talk to me, like, Milledgeville to Atlanta. To you know, everywhere you just came back from LA, you did South yeah. by Southwest. South by Southwest. Country girl doing the city things. What you doing? Trying to do big things. Trying to do big things. Yeah. I want different. Got to move different. How, so I've been moving different. How it feel to Simple. do big city shit coming from such a small place? It's a good experience mm -hmm. and it's a good example to, from where I'm from because it's not often where I'm from. So it's like every now and then. Who's the last person to come out of Middleville? Milledgeville. <sighs> Is it Milledgeville or Middleville? Milledgeville. 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 M-I-L-L. -L. Spell that shit. Oh, 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 they from the If you can spell Milledgeville, you can win a spelling contest. Okay. Who I? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> not me. Not me. But it's a good experience, though, coming from a small town doing big things because it's a good example. And people where I'm from, they, they don't dream big like that yeah. because everybody go by the, like, the expectation. Like, just mm -hmm. go to college and just... Mm -hmm. Be a nurse or something. So, and it's in people where I'm from scared to like follow their dreams for some odd reason. But people like they get in there though. Like everybody is like blossoming where I'm from. Like shout out to everybody where I'm from. Okay. Seven, eight, Milledgeville. Give, give we got a lot ahead. of entrepreneurs coming up. Okay. We got a lot of people selling weave hair. <laughs> I thought you said weed. I was like, oh, entrepreneurs. Shout them out. God damn it. Shout out to the trap. <laughs> shout okay. out where I'm from though. Like we blossoming. Like it's not often where I'm from in 478, but like it's like coming out of nowhere. Like we got young Apple. He oh, just I've heard got Apple. Some, yeah. I, um, Apple came. We did homecoming in Fort Valley. Apple I know what show you talking about. I saw yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Apple. Okay. Yeah. Shout out to Apple. We got a lot Anybody of them. Else? Got a music group where I'm from, A and F. We got mm -hmm. a lot of talent coming out of Milledgeville. A lot. So what was you doing before the rap? What was what, who was Pat before the rap? Oh, Pap was Jada. Ooh, oh, Jada. Oh, Jada. Jada. Look, that's so crazy how I came up with Pap, P-A-P. -P. I was in middle school, and I saw the dudes had, like, crip, and they had blood. I was like, us females, we got to do something. Oh, you wanted to bang. So oh, I, so, so Pap is really, is really a gang. And yeah, you just Pap it was Chanel. a look. It was a little gang. Like I had when it so got me. So you like like YFN Lucci? You Pap Chanel. P-A-P Chanel. Oh, Chanel. shit. It's a gang of y'all. How many Paps is it out here? Like folks. What's the, what do y'all call y'all like Pap? Like what? Like We pretty and paid. We send pretty and we getting paid. Pap. Team Pap. It's a Pap Oh, world. it's Team Pap. Okay. How no, many? it's really the Pap Hive. Like the Pap what? You Pap Hive. Pap Hive. Hey y'all, so I had the hardest like <laughs> hardest time coming up with that. I was calling them Papsters at first. Yeah, I don't know what to call them. Papsters. They call it the Pap Hive. Okay. Pap Hive. Pap Hive. Though. I think that's catching. <laughs> Pap Hive. <laughs> <laughs> That's catchy, though. I didn't know. I no, no, it is. But I didn't know. I thought you were the only pap. I thought pap. No, it's more paps. Okay. Like, do everybody get a pap team? I want a soon, pap team. soon. Pap you know how like Nikki had? Wanna, you want, want one? You sitting pretty, I'm, you get paid. I'm, no, look. I ain't gonna say I'm sitting pretty, I'm getting paid, but I fuck with. Tell pap. me what you think about this pain and pleasure. Yeah, for the niggas. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of cheesy though. That's like yeah. an album name or some yeah. shit. Yeah, but I, I want a pap <laughs> team though. I want Okay, we're gonna get you one. We gotta replace the stars or something else. Nah, the stars is cool. We could do like the little DJ. The DJ. That, hard, that would be that hard. hard. That hard. Okay, hey. 
D325, wherever the fuck you at. <laughs> nah, he capped us down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out, uh, happy belated, I, tell, I was gonna say that. Happy belated birthday. Yep, yep. D325. It was a holiday. I tried to make your motherfucking birthday, but you <laughs> was trying to be fashionably late. That's your fault. I was there <laughs> early. But, Pat, tell me, how was South by Southwest? First experience. It was. No, it was actually my second time going. Like, oh, excuse me. But you know she what? You can really you can really count it as my first time. Okay. Because when I first time I went, it wasn't really planned well. So like when I went on stages and stuff, it was yeah, like little yeah, yeah, things yeah. that happened. But this year, it was like such a good experience. Okay. Like Shout it showed me how place. big my fan base is. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. You That's have, crazy. You have one of the crazy, and I was telling uh, D and a couple other people, you have one of the most bizarre not bizarre but craziest fan base like shout out to the pap hop they crazy the motherfuckers <laughs> the motherfuckers is out here don't don't try to join me on my page it's going down hey, hey, they so finna attack when, when was the first time you realized you you kind of had that fan base or you know even that presence especially like on social media and shit um one time I was in the car, mm -hmm. and I was getting, like, hella tags. Mm -hmm. I was like, what's going on? I'm just going to click it. Usually I don't click it because I be scared, but I want to get something I want to be in. <laughs> so I got in something. I thought I didn't want to be in at first. Yeah. When I clicked it, it was a dude. He was just going off on me. Yeah. He was like, if you pap shit, how you sitting pretty and you getting paid? If you sitting pretty and you at home, don't cap your friends down. I was like, <laughs> oh, dude going off on me. I was like, I'm going to get off this live. I'm going to get off this live. Yeah. I stopped, and, like, someone was like, go back. Go back and see what this dude was talking about. Yeah. I went back. And he was mad at me because I didn't join the live when I had first got tagged mm -hmm. because his daughter wanted to see me. Okay. So when I joined it, he was like, you know what? I was like, I'm going to just join it. So I joined it. He turned and came around to the girl. Tell me why she started crying. Like, she was crying to the point she couldn't stop. I like, was like, I'm happy. Like, I'm like, happy. Oh, like, oh, my, oh my God. God. It's I was like, it's people out here that, like, really look up to me. Yeah. I was like, darn, she's crying. So, like, because I was a big fan of Nicki Minaj. And, like, I used to cry when I used to, like, like when I first saw her, yeah. when I went to go see Nicki Minaj, I was, like, a super fan when yeah. I was, like, in elementary school. I went uh -huh. to go see her. And I was crying. So I know how that feels. So I was like, oh, shit. So how you feeling right now, Nicki versus Cardi? Like, does that bother you? Or are you just happy to see two women popping? It's a good and a bad thing. What do you mean? Because... It's a good thing because now, like, now they, like, going at Like, they not really going at it, but everybody making it seem like they going at it. So, yeah. they always going to be the trending topic. I mean, yeah, but it's... But it's, but it's same, a bad thing because they could have been making hella money right now. Because it's, it's like... we and, and we was having this discussion the other day. I'm glad you're here. It's so many... It's, it's a lot of women making music, but those are, like, the two prominent figures. Right. So, for the two prominent figures to kind of go at it, like, you, of it's course, like you got to... Yeah, it's kind of fucked up, but at the same time, it's kind of like it, it's good for business. Yeah, it's good for business. So, so you team Cardi too, or you team I'm, Nicki? I'm I'm both. Cardi? I'm both. You Barbie gang and you and you Nicki gang. Yeah. Or Barbie gang, Barbie and Barbie gang. That's yeah, kind of Barbie and Barbie. Yeah. That's kind of. I'm yeah, both. I think they did that both. I'm okay. both because I it's so many things I love about Cardi and Nicki. You know, yeah. I told you I was a super fan for Nicki Minaj. Yeah. But I love Cardi too. So so who who influenced you more to get into the game? Nicki Minaj. Nick. But Cardi makes me keep going. Do you? So, I right, Like, I'm like, we're going we gonna to keep it funky. You're, like, extra young. Extra young. Extra, extra Teen young. young. Like, teen young. <laughs> so, like, did Lil' Kim play a part? Did Foxy Brown play a part? Or is it just kind of like, fuck them, I was on. I'm not going to lie, Chaos. I'm going to tell you something. Okay. I'm going to tell you something. Talk to me. All of them played a big part, but... I was such a fan of Nicki Minaj. Yeah. The reason why I really started rapping, my first rap was a Lil' Kim diss. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. You're not finna come for Nicki Minaj. Hell the fuck no. Nah. So, my first rap, I went on sales. I was like, Nicki ain't saying shit. I'm finna say something. <laughs> Pat came out with the first Lil' Kim diss. I came out with the first one. In defense of Nicki fucking Minaj, you dig? So, like, I didn't really look into Lil' Kim like that, and yeah. I hate it. I hate yeah. it, but I've been doing my research. I've been doing my homework, mm -hmm. eating my fruits, and oh. <laughs> I, love, I love Kim. I love Kim. She's she's lit. I hate I hate all that happened while I was young, so I could have yeah. been like all in two and yeah. tuned in her career. Mm -hmm. But she's dope. She's a dope artist. That's dope. Um, damn, you said you ain't <laughs> fuck with no Kim. I was I was I had some strong beef too. Yeah, strong beef. Oh my, this was too hard, chaos. I want to talk about. I got a story, mm -hmm. but I want you to tell the story 
I want you to tell people your first viral video because people don't really know. Nah, we're going <laughs> to talk don't... about it. We're going to speak on oh, it. Oh, wow. We're going to speak on it because it was brought to my attention and I thought it was pretty motherfucking funny. <laughs> oh, wow. Pap Chanel, first viral video. What was it? Talk to the people. My cinnamon challenge. <laughs> <laughs> How old was you? My cinnamon challenge. When was it? And tell the people about it. I think I was like 12. 12 for all y'all people in the comments trying to act like it was yesterday. This was this was Jada. That was Jada. That was Jada. That was Jada. That was before I even came on my gang. So that was like <laughs> that was like the real one. Like that was raw and uncut right there. So I was like, I think I was like 12. I had to be in the sixth or the seventh grade. Because that was when my my best friend name was Corn. Yeah. He kept, I had did me a cinema challenge and he said, I ain't have enough. I was like, no, you're not gonna talk about me. <laughs> I always been that type of person like, no, that's what you're not finna do. So I was like, no, he's not finna do that. So I made another one. And I put a lot on there and it turned out bad. And my reaction made the video go very, very viral. Motherfucking Pat Chanel. <laughs> Sin- Izzy, did you do the cinnamon challenge? Y'all around the same age. Did, was you fucking around? You you did you? <laughs> <laughs> JC, you was on not on live. You don't lie, son. You was <laughs> nigga was fucking nah, around with it. <laughs> So, that guy's so funny. Did you understand what viral, going viral was back then? Like, no. To understand that you went No, viral. actually, it didn't go viral at first. It, it was on viral. there for some, like, two or three years. It went viral, like, when I was in high school. It took that long. That's the internet. That's and, the like, internet. no. That should have bring When I first up. posted it, I was, like, in so much trouble about it. I went to school. They made me go into a meeting about it. <laughs> they about was, the cinnamon challenge? Yeah, because that was like that was around the time when that cyberbullying was big and stuff, mm. and it was like I could be picking at people talking about corn. I was like, y'all don't be quiet. Oh, I thought they was mad at you. I thought you maybe your mom, maybe your mom's got mad. You was using all that goddamn cinnamon. <laughs> like, fuck you, wasting all. Actually, if all I d- if I didn't cut the camera off, it would have went more viral. She beat that ass. No, nah, she no, nah, she just ran in the bathroom. <laughs> Twelve year old pap. Yeah, twelve year old Jada, aka Pap. No, we gonna say twelve year old Pap. Okay, okay. I was on some Pap. I was on some Pap shit around here. You was on that Pap. She was popping big shit in the video. I wish we had that motherfucker. Show people. We probably edit that motherfucker in. But motherfucking (laughs) Pap. Goodness gracious. So, um, talk about how how you breaking through in this industry and and how hard it is or how hard it's not for women and you know females because you're a young woman in an industry full of males. males. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In a male dominated industry. Do you have like a female like DJ, female engineer? Like, are you into that? Like, are you doing that type of pat route? Oh, I love that. Yeah, yeah it is a lot of producers and mm-hmm. DJs that mm-hmm. I love that are female. Shout out to Tasha Couture. Okay. DJ Tootie. Oh, cool. DJ Nikki Nice. I know a couple. I know all of them actually. I can't. I can't list all of them right now, but y'all know who y'all is. Yeah. But you know it's male dominated, so it is. it's hard. Most definitely. And in the music industry, they look they look at you like you a bag of chips when you walk inside a convenience store. If you don't have salt or you don't have vinegar, they don't want you. You just can't have salt. You, <laughs> you just got you gotta have the vinegar too. So. So shout out to all the niggas that's missing the vinegar or the salt, goddamn you one dimensional motherfuckers. <laughs> that's how they look at you though. Yeah. So like, since I'm not a male, I'm a female, and mm-hmm. you know. The first thing they always say, y'all voices are so annoying. Yeah. Y'all always talking about y'all coochie or y'all talking about getting money that y'all ain't got. But, but what the dudes talk about? That's a fact. Okay, y'all, what the dudes That's talk a about? Fact. That's a but fact. when a female do it, it's already female. So like, oh, it's a female. We ain't really understand what she's talking yeah. about. Since it, off, since it comes off like that, that's when they listen to what you're talking about. They yeah. be like, oh, that's how she's talking about is that? Yeah. It's just always something since it's us females. So that's my whole thing is to create my own wave. Yeah. I was like, a lot of females don't make music that the dudes and the females can vibe with. I that's know I fact. say I'm on a whole lot of pap shit, but at the same time, Y'all dudes handsome, y'all look good, and y'all get paid, so you y'all can relate to it. Dead, you heard? You can, y'all can relate to it too. Yeah. So, like, I want to come off to like all genders, mm-hmm. races too. Mm-hmm. So, it's just I'm creating my own wave, and I'm trying to stick out. Not really trying to, I'm sticking out just by how I am. Because when I was in high school, I was a cheerleader, so I had mm-hmm. to like. Dominate my voice. Ch- pap, pap. Yeah, I had to dominate my voice. I had to come from my diaphragm. So okay. it created like a, yeah. like when I'm finna like go off, like, yeah. it come up, yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, that's a fact though. <laughs> it come up hard. That's a fact though. So when I rap. That's like, that's like one of the biggest things I always hear is like, damn, she don't sound yeah. like how she look. Cause when I, I'm not gonna lie, when Deep first brought me to record, I'm like, damn. 
I'm like, where's she from? He's like, Milledgeville. Like, Milledgeville? Get the fuck out. He's like, some New York type shit. He was like, nah, she from the country. And then when I met you, he was like, get the fuck out of here. Like, <laughs> this little girl. You got that voice? But then, like, he's sitting down with you in the studio, and I see the, like, because I got the same situation, like, when I DJ, people always say my voice is a lot different than... I don't... Yeah, your voice is different, mm-hmm. but it matches you, too. But, uh, I mean, it depends. It's like you'll come up with something like that. I mean, that's just, it's just... I, I understand the voice comments because I get it daily. You know what I'm saying? So, does you, do you think it hinders you, or do you think it, like, pushes you forward? Some, um, the fact that it's a male dominant industry. No, the, the fact that you got a voice. Oh, that... it pushes me forward most definitely, because that's a lot of that's the main thing that people talk about. Females' yeah. voices are annoying. Yeah. So when I rap in my voice, it comes mm-hmm. off clear. Mm-hmm. It comes off different, yeah. and I be going in. <laughs> yeah, straight bars, straight bars. Flows for days, flows for days. Look, man, we're gonna get into Let a world from man. We're gonna get into style. this world from man. She got a freestyle. I want you to talk about this freestyle. Tell me why this freestyle is what it is, and tell me who produced it, engineered it, and we about to drop it right now because you're talking about bars, and we want to get into some motherfucking freestyle. bars. Freestyle, freestyle by Pat Chanel, a record I made straight in the studio, produced by EJ. EJ Wash, EJ Wash, produced by GBs. We run this, and you already know it was mixed and mastered by DJ Pharaoh. It's Pap Chanel Freestyle. What's good? Let's get it. I'm still a pretty putting gloss on my young nigga blunt. It's funny how I shit the hoes. I'm not gonna weave a front. This nigga mad, I cut him off, and now he trying to stunt. I'm trying to see why she's so. I keep it all real, don't care about a friend. Life too short to be mad by the man. She all on my page, but seem like a fan. But play, I'm the one that her ass can't stand. The hoe come last on my ass on first. His girl not around, now his ass in the flirt. The hoe better watch for they ass get hurt. When it comes to the check, for your ass in the dirt, bitch. Talk to cheap, so I talk to my eyes. Talk to cheap, so I talk to my eyes. Got me a bag and I got it like twice. Got me a bag and I got it like twice. Money coming in, got it rolling like dice. Money coming in, got it rolling like dice. All of my wrists is a very large price. A very large price. These bitches, you can't even fit the fucking shoe. Hold on, just me and don't know what I've been fucking through. I done seen so much, that's why I only fuck with you. Tip top, top notch, make your lip drop, no stop. All gas like I'm quick stop on top. Now they say I try to flip flop, slap top. In his mouth, call me 